watching the pirates on the bay. They're out there catching tons of bunker. You have five old submarine tenders here. And they're using purse sains to encircle huge schools of bunker which these guys already have done. You might be able to see in the discoloration of the water where this net is, it's full of fish. And they'll actually get up to the side of these boats or the boats will actually come to them, stick a, stick a great big vacuum into the water and suck this stuff, suck these fish right up out of the water. Fill the holes with them. And before this afternoon is over, these five boats probably won't have any freeboard whatsoever. They'll be down to the water line, down in the water line, almost submerged. And over here you can see these two guys. Here's two guys right here. They're encircling a school of school of fish right now. So it's nets spread out behind them. They let out and they're in the process of going around school of fish and they'll be coming together here in a few minutes. Pulling the net up tight. Getting all the getting fish all up in a bunch where they can be sucked into the boat. Tons and tons of them. These little fish also are filter feeders. They clean the water. They clean our bay. And our bay is ever dirtier. And one of the reasons is is you turn the filter off, the water gets dirty. It stays dirty. And it's so sad to see day after day this go on. This port of Reedsville in Virginia that they go to, if you check into the books, you'll find it's in the top five in the world as far as weight goes on uh, seafood brought to port, brought to dock, shipped out. It's uh, amazing. It's this huge operation is going on inside the Chesapeake Bay. We're not on the open ocean here. We are within a half a mile of the beach behind my house. This is so sad. And, you know, I guess it won't stop until we just don't have any more of them here. And unfortunately, when the bunker are gone, all the predators are gone also because that's what they feed on. All the trout, bluefish, cobia, red drum. Whatever is a predator eats them. Flounder eat them when they're small. Anything that's a predator in this bay eats them and they're disappearing. You hear spotter planes going overhead. That helps them out if they can't find them on sonar. And a lot of times the spotter planes will find them. Usually you'll see, you'll see the spotter planes before you see the boats. We have five of them up here close to the beach today and to give you an idea where we are, we're right here. There is the uh, concrete ships right there, so you can get an idea of how close to shore we are. They are just outside of where the, what you would think the concrete ships are. And they're having at it. Somebody in office somewhere is really prospering off of what we're losing out here in the bay. Sad, very sad. People should know. I don't think people know that this is going on. Not, to the, not enough people anyway. I don't think the general public would allow this to happen if they knew it. Anyway, just want somebody to take care.